What? What is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? What? What is this? Wow. I'll take them both. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Them both, you said. That's cool. Yeah, I think it's clean. It's only, what, a couple hundred miles away or something? 200 and something miles. It's insane. I've never had a brand new motorcycle before. That's pretty close. That's, <laughs> that saves close. a few thousand, but... Yeah. Um, yeah. You, uh, you want me to start up for you in the garage? Sure, sure, that's fine. I know, right? Third time's over. I told y'all in one of the other videos, I was looking at possibly replacing this. Or getting a second motorcycle. Originally, I was looking at a CBR 1000. The guy never got in, back in contact with me, which is kind of aggravating. But in the meantime, I found this amazing 2013 CB 1100. These were um, in the US. These were a really big fail with Honda. Honda thought these were going to be super duper amazing selling bikes when they came out with it and the whole purpose of this bike was to build a retro motorcycle to the original cb 750 from the mid 70s and early 70s well the 69s when it first came out my first motorcycle was a honda cb 354 cylinder um, i wasn't supposed to be riding it i had learned how to ride a motorcycle by reading a book in the library in middle school. And it really made my parents really mad. I'm gonna try to put a picture in here of what the bike looked like. It was an amazing motorcycle. So I've always had a thing for vintage Honda motorcycles. And I saw the CB1100 several years ago. Guy was riding it at a, in a town about 30 miles away. I love the design of these. They carry the original 70s Honda taillight look. It's just a really, really amazing motorcycle. But the problem with this, it's not for everybody. And I can assure you, this bike is absolutely on the other end of the scale of this bike. Uh, it, this is a, and I've ridden many motorcycles, but this one is very big and very heavy. And um, I heard somebody kind of compare it to the old 70s Goldwing, the naked version. And that's, that's a good comparison because this thing does not drive like a standard uh, uh, Nighthawk 750, for example. Now, what is very, very, very unique about this motorcycle is I found this in Ohio. And at the time when I purchased it, it had 233 actual miles. I have ridden it some. So now it's at 287 miles. This bike was purchased in 2016 from a Honda dealership in Ohio. The guy bought it for his wife. They had seen one of these at the trade show. Absolutely fell in love with the design of the motorcycle, but it did not fit her well. I think she had a Yamaha motorcycle that she had ridden around. That was a smaller bike. So they bought this at the dealership in 2016. She didn't like it, and it sat parked, covered under, um, in their garage under a motorcycle cover. It is an absolute mint, brand new condition. I mean, it doesn't get any better than this. It has been absolutely <clears throat> amazing. This bike runs amazing. I mean, it's, it's, it's so cool. Electronic fuel injected. 
there's a cat converter right underneath the pipe between the headers and the muffler. So you get all the current emission stuff and everything. And it's absolutely a stunning bike. Now, what about the SV650? At the time of this filming, I am not selling the bike. I'm not selling either or. I'm gonna have two motorcycles. It's tagged, it's, both bikes are tagged and insured. And I've been riding this one quite a bit. I've been riding the SV650 quite a bit. Um, the SV650, it's done. Everything that I ever wanted to do to this bike is completely done. Um, I even changed somebody, when they installed the vapor gauge system, they had cut one of the radiator hoses in half and added the coolant sensor to it. I didn't like that at all. So I found a radiator hose set on eBay in perfect condition and so that's all back to factory i know that's something so simple minute but what we do it looks amazing so all that's correct another thing i did is sc650s the gen first gen have very noisy cam chains and that's because these cam chain tensioners are just a horrible horrible poor design so I don't know, it was about a month ago, I found a set of Gen 2 camshaft tensioners and installed those, and now it's perfect, perfect whisper quiet. At the same time, I had a leaking uh, sprocket seal and a clutch rod seal, so I changed those out. I did an oil change. I did a coolant change when I had the hose off. I did spark plugs. I did uh, replace the air filter. And I was going to replace the chain. I don't know if y'all remember in one of the other videos, but the chain, it's blue. It's quite funny. It was black, but I was going to replace the chain. But instead, I found this motorcycle chain stuff. What is it? Motel? It's a... Uh, you can buy it in a kit on Amazon. Uh, 40 bucks for a kit, 30, 40 bucks for a kit. And you use a chain cleaner, then you use a chain lube. It includes a brush to clean the chain with. And I can assure you, it gets messy, messy, messy. Here's the coolant stuff for the uh, coolant replacement as well. So 30 or 40 bucks for that chain cleaner kit and the chain looks brand new and it acts brand new it sounds quiet uh, nothing slinging off of the chain so that took care of that I also went through the bike and just cleaned up a bunch of nuts and bolts and stuff I, there was a bolt over there that was holding the original muffler canister to the bike that had a little bit of uh, gunk on it but Everything now, 100% perfect on this bike. Oh, I also put the frame, the swing arm thingamajiggies on and bought this stand from Harbor Freight. So now I can put it on the uh, swing arm stand in storage. And I love the stance. I love how that looks. An example, like this bracket here had some corrosion on it and some rust in the bolts. So I took this off, took it over to the wire wheel cleaned it up. Um, so yeah, this bike is absolutely perfect, as perfect as it could possibly get. Then you have the CB1100. This bike is, is absolutely stunning. And what in the world is this? This was going to be a purchase that I was going to, I was gonna record it, but it was in far worse condition when I first bought it. Uh, 2000 Raz 50 Yamaha scooter. Uh, me and my friends used to ride these in the neighborhood growing up. I had a Spree. They, uh, he had a Raz 50. Super cool motor, motor scooters. 
um, bulletproof. I mean, you can, man, we did some crazy stuff on our scooters. But the problem with this one is this one's from the coast and the tires were dry rotted beyond. It was, it was bad. It had rust everywhere. Now it still has remnants of rust on it on various pieces. I can't get that off. Um, I had to take a wire wheel to the rims. I repainted the rims. I put new tires and tubes on it, put a new battery in it, completely went through the carburetor, completely went through the fuel system. Even the mirrors were corroded. It was just, and there's still, you can, you can still see some corrosion up underneath there. But that's just the way this, there's, I mean, there's, there's only so far you can take this scooter, but it popped up on sale on Facebook Marketplace for $200. Absolutely insane to find one of these for that price. And I snatched it up, but at the time that I snatched that up, this was being delivered and things got a little bit cluttered. So... I pretty much finished this, I pretty much finished the scooter. The problem with it is by the time I put the tires, the battery, the fuel system stuff, and I ordered a, some, the previous owner had lost the key. So you use a screwdriver to start it or to lift the seat up. I do have a title, so it's not stolen or anything, but he's had this thing forever. So I rode him the other night and I said, hey, by the way, can you send me the original pictures that you posted this up on Facebook with? I just want to have a before and after. And he sent them to me and he jokingly said, hey, when you get it running, I'll buy it back from you for this amount of money, which was a lot more than I paid for it. And so jokingly, I asked him, I said, hey, you want to buy this scooter back? I, you know, here's what I've done to it. Here's what I've spent on it. In fact, here's even just a price list of some of the stuff that I've had to do to it. Purchase, the battery, fuel system, the tires was $95. The key, the stupid key was like 50 bucks plus it's gonna be $35 to have a key made. So yeah, there's, a, there's over $300 in parts, $300, $400 worth of parts in this thing. So even though the scooter cost 200, I got a lot more money into this thing. So. He's offered to buy it. I'm having the key made right now at the locksmith um, in downtown Greenville. And it did come with the uh, key switch cover. So this is nice. So once everything comes back from the locksmith, it will be 100% factory. And then he's going to buy it back for $600. And I'll walk away with $150. Not really a money maker, but that was a lot of fun to play with. Um, it was a lot of fun to, to mess with. I don't know if I want to try to start this real quick. They, it is a, I mean, it runs perfect, so we'll try it. I don't have the garage door open. No, oh, so. So yeah, it runs great. Um, key switch should be taken care of tomorrow, hopefully. And then that will be going back to the, uh, the previous owner. Never did anything with the title. Quite funny. And that's the only bad thing about the key switch thing is if you start it with the screwdriver, which is easy to do, you forget to turn the key switch off and you can potentially kill the battery. So that's what's been going on in my garage. Um, helmets, that was the one that I bought off of eBay for like 30 bucks when I first bought the SV650 because that was the cheapest helmet that I could find at the time because I had no intentions. I had no idea what I was gonna do with this. So I ended up buying an HJC helmet for when I ride the SV650 and the built helmet for when I ride the CB. 1100 quite cool really really cool and um i don't know how well this, this is kind of finicky when you're starting it up but we'll see what happens uh, i gotta do the clutch hold on
this one is kind of weird when you're starting it up. Um, when it has been written in a couple of days, you got to give it just a little bit of throttle when you got full choke. So that's why I was a little bit weird trying to start that one. That's why it's funny with this one with the fuel injection, you just hit the button and she goes. But uh, yeah, pretty, pretty cool. I thought I'd just share that with y'all. Instead of just going into a full blown edit video and yada, 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 I'll try to show some footage of this coming off the trailer. And then I'll show some footage of the Facebook ad of this and maybe I'll, I'll show some pictures of what it looked like when I brought it home. And um, so that's where everything stands right now. I know it's been a little while since I posted a video, but now you know what's been going on in the background. We did finally end up buying another motorcycle. So guys, again, thanks for watching. Hopefully we'll get another video off to you soon. Sorry, I was gonna show you a video of a scooter and everything, but this kind of took a little bit of a different turn than I had expected. But thanks again. Click subscribe or like around here and we will see you soon.